te desvestiste Lo hicimos ya en la habitación Qué rico, mami Pero en cosas del amor mucho fallaba No había nada, mi amor, algo esperaba De tu mirada Perdidos Sé lo que siento, pero tú What's up guys, it's your boy Ace Live. I'm here in Selena Beach right here. I forgot this beach, it's, I think it's called Alfonso. And yeah, and I'm here cause we're gonna go do some jet skiing, all right? It's the next day, I want to enjoy the jet, jet ski, but before I go, I wanna show you this beautiful jacuzzi in my room, all right? If you are new to my channel, you like travel, crazy destinations like this, <laughs> jacuzzi, Check out my videos, subscribe today because I like to travel as well and it might be something you like. Anyways, now that I got that out of the way, let me show you my room, all right, and how much I paid, okay? It's a mess, because I'm checking out today. I'm going back to Montanita and this is my room right here, all right? Super dope, I'm sleeping here and just looking at the view at night, beautiful. Um, this jacuzzi is not a private jacuzzi. It's for the whole hotel. You have to uh, hold it. Uh, why is my shower running? Who's in my shower? <laughs> I'm playing with you guys, I'm playing with you. I just was gonna take a shower and I decided I not to. It's just running, but you get to see how the shower is looking. There you go, all right? I got this room for 50 bucks, all right, before you trip. When I first arrived here, I actually was paying $30, but it was for another room in the back, and I just upgraded 20 bucks more to get this room. Basically, it's the only room with the view like this. There are other rooms, but this one is like their premier room. It has two beds. Uh, that's why I'm paying $20 more. But it was well worth it because it was a relax relaxing stay, all right? Just to let y'all know because someone had seen a toothbrush in my other video. He was like, oh, you got a pink toothbrush. Who's, who girl is that? I'm like, yo, I just have a pink toothbrush, you know? When you're shopping for toothbrushes, I just grab whatever was available and it, was, it happened to be pink. I was not thinking about that. You have to reserve use of the jacuzzi, all right? Two hours in advance. There's also a pool here. Uh, breakfast, you had to pay for the breakfast. Well, you're, get, you're paying for $30 hotel room, but it's a really decent hotel room. It, it comes with uh, Netflix, so I don't have Netflix account right now, so that was a plus. But anyways, we are going to the beach. Let's go, all right, guys? Let me put my face mask, and let's take off. All right, guys, so if I didn't mention it, this is the Hotel Casa Blanca. It's gonna be called Casa Blanca. It's, to me, it's in a good location. There are def definitely different hotel rooms here. Like I said, the, originally when I first got here, I was in a room all the way in the back and it was $30. And I just upgraded to that room because I just wanted to see the views, all right? I'm gonna show you a little bit about this place and then we'll hit the beach up, all right? Okay. Here is the pool area, okay? I think the pool is open currently all the way till, uh, I think seven o'clock. But it's a big hotel right here, guys. All right, now we've seen the pool. We'll go through here. This is like where you get your breakfast. They have like a buffet breakfast. All the fuck you have to pay for it, but if you're paying 30 bucks for a room, hey, you know what I mean? Six bucks more for some food, not bad, all right? So now let's hit the beach. This is the, the beach, I think it's called Alfonso. I'll put it right here, all right? This is not, from my understanding, their best beach. Their best beach is over there. So we'll go over there and check it out. It is most definitely an interesting time for travel nowadays because everybody's being affected with what's going on in the world here in 2021. And so it's been a very good challenge for me to be motivated when it comes to travel, but I always find the cool things they are, like low prices, uh, just pretty much cheap hotel rooms in amazing places. So if you are traveling with a companion, it could be the best experience ever. If you're the type of guy that don't really like crowds and stuff like that, <laughs> or you know, that's another advantage of all it. Me personally, I do like crowds. 
I've noticed with this beach right here, Beach Alfonso though, it gets at a certain time around 11 o'clock, which right now people start coming, enjoying the beach here. But we're gonna go to this other beach because I hear it's dope. It's my first time seeing it, so let's go. One thing I wanna highlight though, the lack of tourism can cause this to happen. Businesses are going to close, all right? Now before you trip and say this is only Ecuador, that is incorrect, that is happening all over the world okay do not be naive it's just happening all over the world i was in colombia for over a year during last year's issue and a lot of stuff was closed interesting right now colombia is going through a hard time so all my prayers go out to colombia hopefully um everybody can uh <laughs> calm down <laughs> calm down and everybody can get to uh some form of resolution for the issue they're having right now there's like a huge dome over there, man. Needless to say, guys, I really feel the the energy of this place. The gentleman I met yesterday was actually telling me how crazy this place used to be. Just on a normal day, even at night, people would come out here and just enjoy the scenery. So I feel like I missed out just a little bit, but it's okay, it's cool. Uh, I'll get another chance to see this place. I feel like right now, this is life when it comes to travel though quiet um peaceful i feel like if you are a travel budgeter like me this is probably one of the best time to travel in the world right now so ever since i hit the ecuador coast this is the first time i've seen yachts big yachts and huge fishing boats i think like this is the city that's just known for that type of energy you can get here and oh there's the beach wait a minute oh i thought i was on the better side i feel like this might be the more exciting side to stay at all right guys so this is chepite beach <laughs> i keep butchering the name but the water here is clear wait a minute yo the water here is clear this is actually the first time i've seen such clear water off the coast of ecuador yo look at that it's clear water out here they got all clear water up in here oh i kind of like this side of the town wait a minute <laughs> i can see why people would come here yeah this is not a, such a bad beach all right and look at that there's a yacht right there you probably can't see it from where i am but that yacht actually is full with people so from my understanding you can have parties here so if you're coming here for your birthday maybe you want to come to this beach if you're not going to Galapagos or something, there are probably other beaches like this, maybe even better beaches like this. If you're from Ecuador, please comment down below. But this most definitely for me is their clearest beach. And I'm wearing my glasses. Let me see it for real, man. <laughs> Let me see this. Oh yeah. Oh, look how clear it is. Montanita Beach is not this clear. Wow. You can even see the fish in there. That's a huge fish over there, guys. It's a huge fish over there. Let's go. Get Check out the fish real quick. Hopefully you don't run too much. Ah, come on. Come on, man. I miss the fish pedicure. I know y'all like to eat my, my feet. Oh, they took off, man. But it was a huge fish literally right there. Wow. I'm loving it. <laughs> so I just mentioned Montanita. But I, I have to admit, this beach is a little bit different because there are no huge waves. Uh, Montanita is where you want to get the waves if you want to do some surfing. I haven't done it yet, but before I leave, uh, maybe I start, maybe tomorrow I'll get a class so I can show you that aspect. But yeah, this is nice though. <laughs> yeah, guys. If I had seen this area, I might have been inclined to stay on this side. Granted, I did get a good deal, but that goes to show you there are other options available. Now, I noticed the conversation in the comments are Ecuador is expensive based off of my videos or based on the fact that they use American dollar. And guys, that's just not true. You won't know unless you get here. But I understand how you may feel by watching my videos because I've been staying at some dope resorts since I've been here. I've uh, been trying a lot of expensive stuff, right? Because that's what I wanted to share with you. But it gets cheaper. It's very cheap. There's always a budget. There's always an option for people who want to try other stuff. Literally, you can come out here and find yourself a hotel for $20, all right? But there are different amenities involved, all right, for what you get. You're gonna pay for what you get. 
that's always going to be the rule hey guys if you're enjoying this video thus far take the time and hit that like button i would greatly appreciate it i'm trying to motivate you guys to <laughs> get in the comments and do a little bit more interaction youtube is telling me your videos are not doing well because nobody wants to like your video or leave comments i'm basically asking the live crew to go ahead and make sure that's a priority every time you come on this channel hit that like button well if you don't like the content then fine but if you're just avoiding it because you don't want to you gotta ask yourself why you watch me eat <laughs> i don't understand why you watch me but anyways we found uh the jet ski right here and let's see what they what they're going for over here because uh over there i got a deal for 20 bucks let's see how what's going on right here so what is how much is it uh -huh. Quanto? Huh? Huh? Oh, 20, 15. Oh, okay. Bueno, bueno. Yo regrese, yo regrese, okay? Yeah, ah. This guy is charging me $15. He automatically won. <laughs> $15, 30 minutes. All right, guys? Just let that sit in. So if you're wondering how cheap this place is, that'll that's a big scale. In Miami, you're paying around $175 to $100, depending on the day to ride a jet ski for 30 minutes. It's not happening. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't almost mess up because I was speaking to him in English. But uh, maybe he was just an honest guy. He probably heard it and just like, hey man, I'm just, you know, charge him what I charge everyone else. There's a cool hotel over there. Let's go to that cool hotel. I just want to look at it because it's like in a prime location, see how much it costs. And then we'll go over here and get on this um, jet ski. Yo, finally close to the hotel and I approach it. It just seems like it's empty, man. It seems like it's empty. This goes back to what we were talking about earlier. <sighs> It gets a little bit discouraging when you see stuff like this. I mean, I, uh, some people might say, why don't you go home? <laughs> because this is a chance of a lifetime to see the world. Infrastructure is always gonna be cool. Saying that those places, the ones that are open, always gonna be cool. But at the end of the day, I wanna travel, I wanna see the world, and I wanna share it with you guys. So that place is closed. All those other um, sky rises are pretty much available. Well, let's get to this jet ski and um, enjoy our time in the water. Let's do it. Really thinking about changing my name to Ghost Town. Ghost Town Ace. Traveling during the pandemic. <laughs> Showing you what's going on and taking advantage of every moment of it. Let's do this $15 jet ski. All right, guys, so I'm getting on here. I'm already set up. Just want to uh, try to record this thing to show you uh all the dance and everything uh if you can recall i mentioned the other day that uh they have these scams or if i didn't mention it there they have these scams in thailand where they give you an unbelievable price on the jet ski and then all of a sudden the jet ski has a problem when you get back and you have to pay more all right so you see there's already issues involved this thing seems is wear and tear okay Maybe. got it all right. Oh, <laughs> Vita. <laughs> See. All right. So we got a little compartment for the glasses and. Help them out. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna see how I don't have no rig for this thing, so we're just gonna. Mira. Como es? Ya. Te voy a explicar. Ah. Mira, el verde prende. Yeah. El verde prende. Uh -huh. El rojo apaga. Okay. Prende y apaga. Mira el rojo. Uh -huh. ¿Y este? Ya, acá. Mira, este no vale nada, que vale este ganchito. Este ganchito, mira. Mírame acá primero. Mira. Ok. Mira. Okay. Okay, we got the. Esta la llave de la moto. Okay, we okay. That's the. Si te sale esta llave nunca te va a prender, mira, ve. Mira, no te prende. Ya, esta llave tienes que ir aquí. So we, you guys know how these things work. All right. Ya, si ves el dos aquí, el dos. Yeah. El dos. Se pone en el en el cinco vienes, en el cinco vienes y para acá, ya. Okay. Listo. Acelera. Okay. Acelera, acelera, ganchito. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Hey, okay, vamos primero. Por ti. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right, guys, we're running it. I won't be guiding it. Okay. Well, not when I'm recording. Okay. But. Ain't no scenery, y'all can see everything, all right? Let's do it. I got a warning, Floyd. Okay, gasoline was tripping. Turtle don't want to come out and play. Oh, this thing don't turn off on me, man. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all saw it, though. I hope you saw it. Oh, they got some players out here, man. Let's go harass this boat right here. Let's go. 
had it out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for the strategies. But literally, this thing started beaming when he got here. What's going on? Like I heard you, so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man 